Hello, this is Vinny Man here, and today I'll be customizing this Hot Wheels FC RX7. So, I started filming this with this camera, but the quality wasn't very good, so I'm just gonna do a snap transition to when the paint is removed. So now that it's apart and the paint's removed, I'm just gonna yeet these parts because I'm not using them right now. And let's start working on the body. So I'm about to start filing and before I do, I pour water onto the car. This is to catch any of the dust so it doesn't go into the air and I won't have to wear my respirator mask while I file. It also helps lubricate the file. Now that I'm done filing, I'm going to drill a hole in each headlight cover. This is so I can put my jeweler saw blade through and cut out the rest of the shape. So I'm just drilling with my hand drill that I got for Christmas. It's super useful for precise things like this when you can't use a power drill. I'm doing the same to the front bumper opening. Now I'm cutting out the headlight covers and bumper with my jeweler saw. I got it on Amazon for like $15 and it comes with a bunch of blades. Very useful, very good deal. Highly recommend it. I'll leave a link in the description if I can find it. Now that the headlight covers and bumper are cut out, I'll clean up the edges with a file. I'm wearing a leather glove on my hand to hold the car, and that's because files are very stabby. So now I'm gonna mix up some super glue putty paste. Um, it's pretty much just a mixture of super glue and cornstarch. It's really useful for gluing stuff in place when super glue is too thin. And it's real cheap, a lot cheaper than epoxy, and it's also less toxic. So overall, it's very good. So this glue was for the headlight covers, and at this point in time, I hadn't made them yet. Normally I would do it the other way around, but this didn't really affect anything. So I've got some plastic from like an old gift card or something, and I'm marking the width that it needs to be. Then I'm just cutting out the right shape for the headlight cover. So I'm just gonna do a little test fit and it looks like it fits perfectly. So I'm gonna make a mirrored one for the other side. Doing another test fit and they look perfect. So I'm gonna glue them in place. I just use some sticky tack to hold them in place until the glue dries. Now that I'm done working on the exterior for now, I'm gonna cut out the seats in the interior so I can replace them with my own. Now I'm just cleaning up the edges with an X-Acto knife and I'll also use some flush cutters and a file. Thank you.
These flesh cutters came with my Elgu Mars 2 Mono. It's a really good, very highly detailed, and reasonably priced resin printer that I use to print the parts for this card. So, I haven't uploaded in almost a year. And the main reason why is because I haven't been working on LEGO or Beyblade projects, and I thought that my channel should only be LEGO Beyblade. But I realized that I'm not really interested in that anymore, and I am interested in Hot Wheels, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna be doing Hot Wheels content. And also, I like going to thrift stores and looking for stuff, mainly Hot Wheels, so I'll probably be doing videos on that too. I designed all these parts myself in Fusion 360 and printed them out on my Elegu Mars 2 Mono. Now I'm going to paint and scribble them. So I've got a little piece of foil tape and I'm going to put it on the rear view mirror to make it all shiny. I'm recording this voiceover on Thanksgiving, so if you celebrate it, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. And if you don't celebrate it, I hope you had a good day. Also, if you're liking this video so far, then please subscribe and like and all that. It's supposed to help me or something. I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna use my hand drill again and drill a little hole so the rear view mirror can just kinda stick through there. And I'll glue it in with a drop of super glue. Yay, thumbs up. Little, tiny little thumbs up. Now it's ready for glue. Also, this clip looks weird because I have to use my fisheye lens for the camera to focus. Now I'm gonna use my hand drill again to drill a little hole in the dashboard where the steering wheel will mount. Before I glue in the steering wheel, I'm just gonna paint everything the same color so you can't see where I filed. I'm also going to use my silver sharpie to draw three little gauges on the dash. I'm also going to use my silver sharpie and an orange marker to color the shift knob and the handbrake button. So this is really out of focus, but I'm putting super glue on the steering wheel so I can put it in the little hole that I drilled. So now I'm making a harness bar and I'm just using a two millimeter styrene rod. Now I'm gonna color it silver with my trusty little silver skirple. Now I'm gonna scratch the bottom of each side of the harness bar, and this is just to rough it up so the glue will grab onto it better.
Now I'm going to use my silver sharpie and orange marker again to make a little horn button on the steering wheel. Here's how it looks so far. Now it's time to glue in the seats. I'm just going to glue them to the chassis because it'll give it a lower, more realistic look. The seats are glued in, and here's how it looks. Now it's time to make the five point harnesses. I've seen a lot of people make them out of ribbon and other stuff, but I'm just gonna make it out of paper. So this is a good time to talk about my inspiration for the car and what I want it to look like when it's done. It's going to be sort of a street style, street drift, street racer car, and it's going to be painted to look like a cup of Thai tea with boba. I'm going to paint the bodies uh, this sort of orange brownish color, that's why I'm doing everything orange, and the wheels will be black like boba pearls. Now I'm going to glue the strap to the harness bar and cut off the excess. So I did the rest of the top straps off camera and here's how they look. Now I'm going to glue in the little side belts. I just use a toothpick to apply the glue because it's a lot more precise than using the bottle. So now that the side belts are done, it's time to do the little middle ones. So I'm just gluing in the last one as my camera is slowly falling. Now that the belts are glued in, there's some excess super glue on the floor of the car. What I'm going to do is put more super glue and texture it like carpet with a Q-tip. I'm finally readjusting my falling camera, and I'm also painting the carpet. This is the last step, and I'm done! So, I hope you enjoyed that video. It's been a very long time since I've uploaded. Subscribe for part 2 because it's coming pretty soon, and I'm also going to have a pretty neat Christmassy Hot Wheels custom video for you. Other than that, see you next video. Bye!